So let me mention this. Um, earlier, last time and today, when we clicked the submit button, we were running the function prep comic. We called prep comic directly from submittal. There was an event. So under prep comic, we had to prevent default. Well, we're not calling prep comic directly anymore. We are calling save comic. So save comic happens when we click submit. There's an event that we need to prevent, the default behavior of submit. So that's how we did for save comic. There's an event that we prevent its default. We should fix, then, if you go back to prep comic, we no longer need an event there. We're not calling prep comic directly from a click, from a submit. We're calling it indirectly. Therefore, we don't need to prevent anything anymore. It's not... We really only need to prevent the default from a submit. The submit button has a be default behavior that we are preventing. So remove the event um, parameter and remove the event prevention. Because now we're using prep comic in indirectly in save comic. We click submit or we press enter. It runs save comic. There's an event. We prevent it. Then we create a variable and run the prep and store the result where it does return comic as the last statement and puts that object in there for us to use. So that should fix up any odd issues, especially in Firefox. It looks like as people tested it in Firefox, uh, it, it was strict and it gave that sort of error. It looks like Chrome didn't quite notice that error. So make sure you remove that event and that prevent event from prep comic. Just test this in Firefox. So that looks good. I'm going to try to save then Mighty Mouse number one. I saved it from 1990. Now here's Mighty Mouse number one from 2002. They're both number ones, different years. Save. They both save. Now again, this error, ID already exists. Yeah, because I need to write an output that's a little smarter. Um, this is still saying ID already exists. Uh, you confirm completely that it works by looking at the application data. This is still saying already exists, but then I fix it, so I might not need that. That already exists message. And then in Firefox, if you want to check the data that it's storing in the database, um, it, there is no tab for that data. You have to first go to the toolbox options, the little gear uh, button on the right side. Show me the uh, storage tab. And now I have a storage view. Index DB, our current file. And it doesn't really look that impressive here. So that's why we're testing in. That's why we're testing in Chrome. I guess you can kind of see something over here under local storage.
after we put the comic before the break, we'll then say we, we need to reset that form. If they did type in the name, um, we need to empty these fields so that they don't type the exact same one again. There's no feedback at the moment visually for the user that we've actually saved anything. So I want to reset the form. I want to clear the form. We created um, an object early on, L form save comic. There is this form, there is this object that references the form. So after we put that comic, we'll say L form save comic, the, the zero width form dot reset. So the person types in the name, it clears it out. Now here we're in the 409 case. We need the same thing under the succeeded. This else all by itself over here, that is from success. Console output for ourselves is that it, um, it succeeded. It actually um, it saved something to the database. And let's clear out those fields so they don't type the same thing again, the same comic. We're, we're going to write code later uh, to start to show what we've saved so far. Right now we can only see it in the developer's console. I want to show it to the user, of course. Uh, I remember when I showed the demo file, I'll, I'll pull it up later. I remember the demo file, you save some comics, it shows you a simple table of what you saved, then options to edit or delete the comic. We need to set up all of that system. Once we've finished the stuff about saving to the database, we then need to start to get from the database to display on screen. So right now the user doesn't see anything. But at least I want to reset the form so that they don't retype the same comic. So that's all we need for for the code so far to, to start saving data to this database. This data is being saved to the browser. Inside, somewhere in the deep recesses of Chrome, this is saving the data. We saw on pouchdb.com that Chrome can take up as much space on the person's hard drive to save data. Uh, if you're running this project in Firefox, I think it said it takes up 50 megabytes of space. That's still a lot of data. If it's on other devices, it may take up different amounts, but we are then free to create more databases. This data will stay here permanently. Even if I close the browser completely and launch it again, it's still going to be here in Chrome. This is being saved permanently. If I wanted to start all over, later we will have the code to press a button to clear all the data from the database. But right now I've saved 10 things. There is a command here that I have to confirm to delete the database uh, manually through the console. Let me just confirm it, then, then I'll show it to you. If you go back to console, have you, have you tried this as well? Have you ever noticed whatever you're doing here, you get console output? Yes. But this is a spot that you can type stuff. And this is a spot that you can type valid JavaScript stuff. So you can practice some basic JavaScript stuff here in the developer's console as well. Maybe you never noticed that that is a prompt for you to type code. And that also is... Um, you know, it'll hint you about what you can type. Console.info, I guess. This, um, this data that we're saving here 
is being stored in the indexed db storage area. There is an indexed db command dot delete database. Obviously the user is not going to type this. We will set up a button to delete the database. But for testing, right now I want to start over with a clean database. Closing and emptying my browser won't do it. I think if I clean out all the cookies and the cache and everything and reset the browser, that should do it. But there should also be this command. In quotes, pouch underscore, there's that prefix of what the database is. You see it under application. Uh, underscore pouch underscore the name of the database which is defined when we initialize the database. My comics. New pouch database called My Comics. And we see it internally in the browser that it's underscore pouch underscore my comics. So this console, my comics, in the console, index db dot delete database, capital D. It's a it's a method of an object. I'm running it directly in the browser, typing it, press enter. Should give you some results. I'm gonna close Chrome completely. Come back and the database should be deleted. gone. So indexed db, capital db, dot delete database, capital D, parentheses, the internal name of the database, which is underscore pouch, underscore my comics. If you want to completely nuke your database, start over at the moment to, to test with a completely empty database, this is the command. You can write this in our HTML file, but we shouldn't. I'm gonna put it in the I'm gonna put it in the code as a comment to remind you that if you want to clean out the database in Chrome, this is what you type in the console to delete the database. So in our code, write it somewhere. Um, We'll say maybe here before the end of put to delete the database, the pouch database, the pouch db database in Chrome. Run the following command in the console dev mode f12. We created the database my comics. It automatically appends underscore patch underscore. That's the object. That's the method. It deletes it. Yes. So if we go to pouch my comics file, it would have a button delete database. Aha, uh -huh, that's a good point. That might be new. Let me check that. Let me save something. Using fantasy 15, save. So where is it at? Oh, huh, okay. If you click on the actual database, there is a delete database. So let's see what happens. I'm sure, you want to delete? Click OK. If I refresh my browser. Let me close the browser and restart it. Huh, I guess that's an easy way to do it. But remember, what did I say about the hard way? It builds character. It's good to know that too. It's the same thing for. It seems to do the same thing. Yeah, that's that's easy. That's too easy. Okay, I don't remember this being in a few versions of Chrome a few versions back, so I guess they added it. That's useful. So I'll leave that note in the code, but that's another really easy way. Just select your database, delete the database, restart the browser, and then it it uh, initializes the database again.
So we have these operations now of um, saving to the database. Other operations that are coming up, retrieving from the database to show what we've got stored, and then updating the database. So that's going to be our next steps. Show what we've got in the database on screen, and then let us edit and delete what we've got in the database. Individual records. I want to delete you know, that copy of that comic. Not the whole database. I want to delete that one. So we've got all of those things still left to do. But at the moment, we've got put to the database.